Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at current and future energies for you uh, when it comes to love. As always, these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements, um, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. Sometimes those can resonate more for you. So let's see what we get for you, Taurus. All of the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box, as well as information on for personal readings, anything that you want to know about me and what I do, my Oracle decks, my book, all of that is in the description box. All right, so for Taurus, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. What does Taurus need to know regarding love? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, we have standing firm. What does Taurus need to know regarding love? Defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Past life, okay? You have had a connection with this person in the past. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know? For Taurus, what else do we need to know? For Taurus. Hidden feelings. Silence, suppression, fear. So someone... um. I feel like someone here in this connection has been blocking their own feelings. Maybe they've been resisting how they feel towards you. This could also be how um, you are handling the situation with your person. So flip it. Can I get one more? What else do we need to know? For Taurus, current energies in love what's going on for Taurus in love wow romantic charming and passionate so what I'm getting here is that someone could very well be suppressing how they feel hiding how they feel towards someone it could be because of the past that you have with them it could just be due to just being guarded defensive resistant to just this connection Despite the fact that I feel like feelings are there. What else do we need to know? Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. There's way too many. Okay. And then some fell on the floor, of course. Okay. What else for Taurus? What else can I expect for every journey number 10 and coffin at the bottom of the deck okay all right so what I'm getting here with journey for some reason I'm picking up like someone left this connection or this connection there's now distance someone's far away something could have ended here with coffin I don't know what's going on with my deck so I can't hold on to them um, but tens are numbers for completion so it does not Surprise me that coffin, which is kind of like the de death card of this deck, is at the bottom here with journey. It's almost like something was over, so it created distance. So let's see what else we get here for you, Taurus. What do we need to know, Spirit? So you just got for Taurus regarding love. Regarding love. What do we need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Queen of Cups reverse, interesting. So someone I feel is just not, I feel like someone is hiding, suppressing their pain, their love, their, you know, how they feel about something. But I don't know, this could be you, this could be your person. Okay, current energies, we have temperance, six of swords reverse, eight of swords reverse. Um, future energies, actually I'll put them like this. So we can look at them later and then bottom of the deck the overall energy ten of wands reverse interesting ten of wands reverse this is letting go of a burden feeling um, putting down something that is weighing heavily on you eight of swords reverse is overcoming feelings of being stuck being fearful so someone's overcoming their fear and i feel like with temperance it's like this is happening slowly some sort of balance is being restored sagittarius energy 
And then the Six of Swords reverse can sometimes be that someone's returning somewhere that they left. I feel like this Ten of Wands reverse is kind of like a symbol for whatever was heavy in your connection, whatever was weighing down your connection. I feel like someone wants to address that. So we'll see. Let's clarify. Get some clarity, please. Some insight, please, for... Poor Taurus. Let's start with this Ten of Wands reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? Why is the Ten of Wands reverse for Taurus? Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So there could be some sort of message, truth that unburdens someone, a truth that helps someone overcome uh, difficulty. Can I get one more? I feel like someone's gonna be very happy with the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups, whatever this Knight of Swords is, Usually it's a fast, quick exchange of information, a message that comes in quickly. Um, the Knight of Swords is just kind of like to the point. All they care about is just delivering the message. Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's something that's happening here. You are going to be talking to someone or someone's going to be talking to you. There's some sort of truth that's going to be expressed or a message that's going to be sent, something like that. This could be a DM, a text phone call but I feel like someone's gonna be very happy about it now judgment is at the bottom of the deck so sometimes this can mean that someone's trying to revive something um, judgment is about looking at the past learning from your mistakes and this prepares you for a new cycle because you've now learned all the lessons you need to learn you've received the awakening you need to receive so hmm let's see if we can get some insight on this knight of swords what's this knight of swords about and the Page of Wands here, it's almost like when I see it with something like the Ten of Wands reverse, I feel like someone has no burdens, no obligations, nothing weighing on their heart. They're liberated, free, um, eager. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? The Nine of Pentacles and Justice. So this is freedom. This is security with the Nine of Pentacles, someone admiring you. Someone telling you you look good, <laughs> admiring you and complimenting you. Um, now the Knight of Pentacles is usually free, unattached. I feel like someone is just going to talk to you, Taurus. I, I, I mean, that's just what I'm getting so far. Whatever was burdening someone, they don't want that to be a burden anymore. Um, so let's see, let's look down here. Why is temperance here? These are the current energies or three of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is a reunion of some sort. A coming together, a uh, resolving of a problem or an issue, rebalancing. Tell me more about temperance. The moon, Pisces energy and the devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, it's almost like it needed to be resolved because something wasn't right. With the moon and the devil, this this is like secrets, illusions, restrictions, addictions, unhealthy dynamics, unhealthy attachments. Tell me more about temperance. Tell me more about temperance. Yeah, the fool. I think this is someone wanting to start over. Yeah, and then there's the Queen of Cups. Someone wanting to start over. They might not know how this message is received with the moon. Maybe they have doubts or maybe they they just have hidden this um, desire from the other person. Despite the fact that lo love and emotions are there. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Okay, I'm just going to take the top one of this, the world. Wow, King of Cups after that. Yeah, Eight of Wands and the world. I feel like this is someone that perhaps wants to return. And quickly with the Eight of Wands. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Reverse. Well, that's a lot. 
Taurus, there you are with the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles, again with the Balance. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Magician. Interesting. Some of you could have manifested this person returning to you, made this happen. But what I'm getting here more than anything is that someone knows that returning to where they left is how they're going to obtain something. It's how they're going to be successful. It's how they're going to balance something, um, start something new. You can only restart something if you go back to where you started, right? Now, the Eight of Swords is reversed, which is all about kind of being free of a mental prison, free of fear. What's this Eight of Swords reversed about? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed about? Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is what ended your connection. There could have been deception. Someone could have um, caused problems or um in, in the okay how do i say this trust issues there's a there's trust issues now because of what happened in the past someone's guarded with this nine of wands and i feel like someone's going to apologize with this knight of cups for all of this um i think maybe they were too afraid to come forward before possibly because they know that this is how you're going to receive them most likely this nine of wands or this is what they think you're going to receive them like with this nine of wands very guarded energy but the knight of cups is here so it tells me it's almost like there's feelings that are going to be expressed about this genuine feelings typically the knight of cups he he's not scared to be vulnerable so where's all of this headed? We have the Three of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Wow, beautiful energy. This is really beautiful energy, actually. Let me move these left here. You can see them better. Um, this is very beautiful energy, Taurus. I feel like this is somebody that um, really has emotions. And uh, this is definitely that romantic energy, the King of Cups. They're very emotionally mature. They are serious about their intentions and their emotions. They're very open emotionally. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo. It does not have to be, but those are just the cards that ended up showing up here. Three of Cups with Temperance. I mean, this is definitely a reunion coming together. Tell me about this Three of Cups. This is like future energies, potential future energies here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Queen of Swords. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think that someone is hoping for the best but preparing for the worst. They're going to come to you honestly with this Queen of Swords. But they don't know how you're going to take it, you know? I think they're going to tell you they have a lot of regrets. Maybe they've been missing you with this Five of Cups. Two of Cups after that. They're going to um, come forward because this is, at least communication or clearing the air is necessary here. Because someone has been suppressing their feelings. So it's very important to express yourself. And that's why the Knight of Swords is here as well um and then the queen of swords is here tell me about the king of cups what can you tell me about this queen of not queen king of cups why is the king of cups here six of swords three of wands and temperance again yeah I don't know. You know, I get here. There's the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. After coffin was expectation. I have the three of wands here, which is kind of a card about waiting. Um, I feel this king of cups wants to return to their person or return to stability with the four of wands return to make things right with temperance you know this six of swords that i 
see here, which, which is reversed in the current energy, I feel like perhaps this person has to leave a situation and that will cause a little bit of a delay or these are connected, right? Someone needs to, in order to start, you have to return. So this is the King of Cups going to go after what they need to go after here, a journey. There's journey. Some sort of movement, some sort of, um, so for example, if you are long distance, they would have to close that divide. If, you know, if they want to talk to you, they have to visit you at your house or meet you somewhere. If they are in a situation where there is a third person, because, you know, we do have the th three of cups here, then they would have to be single. They would have to leave that, that connection in order to come to you. I only say that because, um, you know, this six of swords in the world and the fool, um, I'm getting like new energy. So some, you typically when you have the fool, the world, you know, when you have a new beginning like that, um, especially with the world, there's an endings that are tied to new beginnings. Something typically ends for something else to begin. And I'm also looking at this coffin energy, which is all about like death. Um, or endings. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Queen of Wands. Why is strength here? Three of Pentacles. There's the Four of Wands again. Knight of Cups after that. I think that this is just someone that needs to be bold or at least I don't want to say strong but committed uh, like I'm getting someone that needs to be determined I think they want to talk about with this three of Pentacles especially working together they want peace they want harmony um, they want to resolve whatever issues are, there needs to be resolved, you know, they don't want to, I, I feel like they don't want to repeat mistakes. So I think a lot of this is going to be tied into some sort of an apology with the Knight of Cups. So let's get one card here for your person's energy. All right, so can we get some insight, please, into this person that Taurus is thinking about connecting with at this time? What are their energies towards Taurus? What are their energies towards Taurus at this time when it comes to Taurus or this connection? You are what I've been searching for all along. You have taught me so much. Bottom of the deck. You are what I've been searching for all along. Interesting. They've been looking for you, Taurus. But that you have taught me so much tells me that you already know this person. So perhaps they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Maybe they thought that this connection when it ended wasn't meant for them anymore. But I think they've been searching for you ever since then. And I also think that this could be vice versa. Like even if the ending between you was very difficult, even if the separation has been difficult, because obviously there was a 10 of wands here that needs to be turned around. I, I don't think that this is a situation where you've completely forgotten this person or your feelings are no longer valid. You know, like you don't care about this person anymore. I don't think I'm talking to that Taurus. But they've been looking for you. They want to be with you. Um, I think they're coming to you with an apology. This Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Um, I think the goal is to put the past behind you and start a new cycle, uh, a new relationship, a new connection um, with you. Um, if you enjoy the reading, hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more readings from me. I appreciate all of your support and your kind comments, and I will hopefully be seeing you with another reading very soon. Take care.